Hey guys, just a quick look ahead at the events for the week to come starting December 12th. Uh, the new update has landed and the new hero is here. So here we go. So we'll start with the weekly events. Now I did log in with an eight hour timer. This will be important in a sec. But the key event is Yig. Now I did a quick re review of him last night. But because the up hero is also Yig all week, I think it's worth it for new new players to pull for him, even knowing that he will not be a major factor on your team. Just because it's a, this is, even if he comes back in keys, he won't be the up chest next time, most likely. So now is the time to stock up as many copies as you can get. Uh, he will also likely be in the next Miracle Eyes event in two weeks, so. This is your way to stock up your nine copies and then stop thinking about it for a little while. So I would say pull for him if you've got a bunch of keys saved up and you just want to pull. And um, just don't expect a major, major increase in your team strength with him. Uh, the hero summon event is Valkyrie. I have gotten questions and this does not mean an upgraded summon rate for Valkyrie. It's just if you summon her, you get purple orange shards. That's all. Uh, along with that is the Hero Awakening, which is here, which is depending on what level you can get Yig to by the end of the event, you get free stuff. Now, pulling three rounds of keys guarantees that you can get five copies, which is enough for a 10 star and a diamond key. You will have to get lucky to get this one, or you buy the $100 package, which comes with a copy of him and his skin. Either or. But it's a little bit of a waste to push really hard for this, knowing that he will be in Miracle Eyes, and if you have Eyes saved up, that's another three copies of him already. So, yeah, it's, it's nice to have this idea, but it is a little bit wasteful to push here. And also, if he ends up in the next Battle Pass, like Watchmen did, uh, you'll feel really silly pushing really hard for this, so... I'm not sure. I, I really don't know what the best path is for this at this time moving forward. Uh, next, we have a new snowflake event. So here's what I wanted to show is if we do the pre-idol, first of all, we get 100 in the mail every day. Second of all, if you log in with an 8-hour timer and you log in and it says you were idle for 8 hours, I got 28. So the drop rate for this is really not good. Uh, we're looking at maybe getting 1500 for free. But here is what we use them for. So here is the new collect. Oops. Here. No. Here is the new collection event. Now, this works a little bit interesting. Uh, what happens is there are three tiers of rewards. Normally, for free, you only get the first tier. If you spend 3,000 gems, you get the second tier. And if you spend this blue diamond snowflake or whatever it is, uh, you unlock the third tier, which you can see has a Demon Whisper at the end. To get this third tier, though, the only way to do it is to spend $50. So as the data shows, it, you must spend $50 to unlock this column. This one, just 3,000 gems. I'll do it, and then we'll put in everything I got. So level 1 is 50. Level 2, er, level two is 150. Oops, where did it go? It probably went to my mailbox, huh? Uh, I swear. Uh, 250 and 350. Okay, so it's actually 150 and 250. My numbers were slightly wrong. Uh, we, I do not know what it costs to finish the whole thing because we don't have really enough to data to go on. But if we assume that this, we'll just assume that most people will get to level 10 for free. And if not, worst case scenario, you spend on the wish wheel. Um, wish wheel is for every 10 spin you spend, you're expected to get about 100 of these snowflakes. Oh, they're actually snow wands. Oh, well. Um, so it's unknown how many you're going to need to spend to get up to level 10. So we'll see. Um, some new items here that people may not recognize. At level 5, this is the chest that you can get in the void cage. So it's a small chance for all of this stuff. Um, in the void cage, it was like a 
30, no, 40 something percent chance of breaking even at cost. But honestly, there's a bunch of nice stuff in this chest. So for free, not so bad. Uh, the new item at level 7, this is an item that revives you one time in the void cage. You only get one a week, so this is actually going to be very precious. So again, I do not know if you'll make it here for free, but either way, this one is definitely worth spending some gems on, just on the wish wheel in case you do not. Uh, the Olivia skin that was teased is unfortunately not found in this event, so we will have to figure out how to get her at a later time, perhaps closer to Christmas. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff coming in this. Most likely, before this event lands on our server, we will have the update with Void Cage. They have teased it. Uh, there's no other way for them to give us these Void Cage items without it. So we'll see. Uh, a lot of big stuff coming this week. Decent if you want to spend. And... Um, Oh, this is the $100 package, and decent even if you don't want to spend. There's a lot of good stuff for free and for paid players. Um, really happy with this week, especially after all the boring weeks we've been having. So that's all for this week. See you guys next time.